All right, what's up, guys? JR here. It's Friday, March 10th, 2017, and I'm going to see if I can give it another go today and see if I can record my trading day. Um, I switched over to the June contract today. Um, probably for about the first 10 minutes of the market open, I had both charts up side by side, and I was just kind of comparing which one was getting the most movement, um, which, which, which charts ticks were counting down faster, and the June contract was the winner for that. So... Unfortunately, I missed this short right here. You may have gone short right here as well because this was a failed second entry long and you break out of the top of your signal bar and the bottom all in one. So you definitely may have wanted to short that, but this was a pretty nice short setup as well. But I'll see if I can get something uh, and get some good trades. It's looking like it's going to be a pretty decent day, so hopefully we get some good movement. But in the meantime, I'm just going to go to pause and I'll be back when I get a trade. Alright, so we're in this long right here. Basically, this is a failed second entry short. And uh, usually I keep my stop two ticks beneath my signal bar, but because I don't really like this setup that, that, that much, I put my stop to one tick. Still pretty sizable. It's going to be seven tick stop, so we'll see if this thing works out. Ideally, I'd prefer to see a failed, I'd prefer to see a second entry long before taking this, but the way that this thing moved up so strongly, I'm thinking that we might just pop and continue going higher, so I don't want to miss out on that. And this is technically the reversal pattern, and we did get some fairly decent rejection off the EMA, but for some reason I'm not really feeling this setup that much, so I won't be surprised if it fails, but hopefully it doesn't and it works out. But I'll be right back when we get some form of a change. Yeah, and sure enough, that thing just failed, so uh, I knew that was going to happen. But yeah, it happens, so we'll see if we can make that back. Alright, so we're back in it again. This is the entry that I should have waited on, so this is the one that's actually going to work. So our stop is going to be one tick beneath our signal bar. Our um, first target's coming off at one point, so it's going to be 72.75. And the second target, I'm probably going to stretch this out. Up. Actually, I'm going to do a measured move and see if I can get that. put it right there at the closes so second target's going to come off at 76 even so yeah we'll see how that works out <coughs> but I'm going to go back to pause in the meantime and and another thing I drew this trend line off these first two swings we actually came back to test it right here and this is a second entry long so I liked going long right here and uh, we also need a retest for the um, for the short-term uptrend. So, although technically we had a break and a push to a new high right here, but I'd like to see if we can retest that. All right, so we're going to go back to pause. All right, so we're on our exit for the first contract. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this trade. So we're out on the first contract at one point. And then we'll see if we can get the second one up there at two points. But I'm going to go back to pause. All right, so we just got stopped out on the runner for that. So we'll see if we can uh, reassess the situation and maybe try and determine where prices are going to go from here. All right, so we're in another trade right here. We're just going to go ahead and short this because I like the way that um, pretty much you get your first attempt to go higher right there. Second attempt, it fails. You pull back, you get a double tap, and it's a bit of a lower high. And that fails as well. It closes beneath the EMA, so I think that we may push down and maybe get a retest of these lows. So, gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Let me move my target down. So our first contract is gonna come off at 70, which is one point away, and our second contract is gonna come off at 68.25, which is I think that's three and yeah three and two and I don't feel like doing that mental math it's early in the morning it's like two and three quarter points I think alright so we're gonna go back to pause alright so we just got that first contract out we'll see if we can get this runner let me go ahead and mark this trade and just a little disclaimer I usually don't trade this aggressively I'm just kind of trying to do a little bit of an experiment and figure out what's the best style of trading for me because um usually pretty conservative but I'm playing around with the money to see which one kind of fits me better so we have a loss right here of seven ticks then a four tick gain right here and then another four tick gain so we'll see how this goes but 
we're gonna go back to pause so I have a measured move of all the way down here I don't know if I should drag my target down there or just take it off where it's at um, what do you guys think I really don't know I think I'll leave it where it's at Yeah, I'll leave it where it's at since we're bouncing right there anyways. Okay, back to pause. Alright, so I checked the midday chart and this is what Mac has, so we'll see uh, how this plays out. I thought we were going to get that target right there, but I guess I have to wait a little bit. Alright, so back to pause. Alright, so I think we're going to get it right here. I did the math, and it's two and three quarter points. So, <clears throat> not bad. Not bad at all. It would have been really nice if we'd shorted up top here when the, uh, when the second entry long failed, but we were still in the other trade, and the stop got filled, and then I liked the confirmation of this bar ticking up and um, giving us kind of that double tap with the slightly lower, slightly lower um, high, and then a nice decent close beneath the EMA. So I liked shorting that one, and that turned out to be a pretty good trade. I don't know why I took this trade because usually I can pretty much tell when something is going to work and when it's not going to work, and especially when it comes to these failed second entries. And my gut was telling me that this was going to fail. And for some reason, I still took it. I knew it was probably better off to wait for the second entry long, which came down here. But for some reason, I took that. I think mainly I was thinking that this move up was kind of strong, so we could get another one relatively quickly. But, yeah, that wasn't the case. So good learning lesson right there. Go with your gut sometimes. And I knew that this wasn't going to be – this was going to fail. Uh, after this bar closed, I was pretty sure I had it, but when this ticked out the top and came out of the bottom all in the same bar, I knew it was over. Alright, so we got that runner on that, so that was four ticks off the scalp portion, and I think 137 um, off of the runner, so not bad at all. So that's 187 off that trade, and 50 from this one, so let's see, let's see what else we can get, but I'll be back. And the bottom just fell out of it. I probably should have gone with the measured move on that one, but oh well. So, yeah. And as you can see, we touched that measured move to the exact tick, and that's kind of where we're bouncing. So, the stuff is really incredible. Alright, so there's a second entry short right here that I probably should have entered, but uh, I didn't like the way I were going kind of sideways. So I decided to leave that one alone, but the entry would be 67 flat. So let's just see how that plays out. But basically, I drew a downtrend coming down. I like the way that fits. I'm pretty sure that that's valid. We're playing off the midline on both sides. You get three touches up top here. And if I had seen that from the jump in this possible range, I definitely wouldn't have taken that. And then even then, this second entry long is kind of sketchy, and that's probably why we just got our four ticks and then turned down again because of that midline. I mean, that, uh, that trend line and the upper end of our range is right there to turn us down. And if I had seen all that, I probably would have shorted this initially. But just glad that I got into that one right there based off the, uh, the lower highs and the lower closes and the fact that we tried to go higher several times, once right there, twice, and then three times, and turned down and closed beneath the EMA. So I like that short. But, yeah, we'll see how this plays out. The entry would have been, I think, 67. So technically we would need... Technically, we would need a uh, 66.75, so we'll see, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, that trade would have worked. Should have taken that, but oh well. We'll look for another one. All right, so it's tempting to go short right here, but we're going to skip that because I feel like it could turn into a trap since we're coming off the lower end of our trend line, and if it does turn into a trap, then we're going to go ahead and take it to the long side and see if we can ride it back up to the upper end, but I'm not going to short that. I'm going to wait and see what happens. All right, guys, so it's looking like we're going to have a perfect setup right here. <sighs> yes, this is going to be nice. So basically what we have is we have a failed second entry long, nice, good-looking signal bar. I'm actually going to go ahead and put my stop in there right now just in case we break out of the bottom on this bar but it's a failed second entry long you get your first entry right here pull back your second entry right here 
and this is a nice looking short signal bar and we are in a downtrend we're coming off the uh, the trend line and this should be a pretty nice trade so we're just gonna wait for this bar to close and we're gonna go ahead and slide this up to one tick beneath that and we should be gone with the wind pretty nicely so uh, yeah I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back as soon as this closes and we get everything filled alright so we're in this trade um, things are moving I might miss when we um, when we get this target filled on the recording because I'm probably just going to pause it and I feel like it might pop down there pretty quickly but so what we're going to do is we're going to take off the first contract at one point so it's going to be 65 and then the second contract we're actually going to go for four points and see if we can ride it down to the other end of the trend line and what I'll probably do is I'll probably trail the stop along the way just so that we don't hit these lows and come back and bounce and take me out so yeah that's that's gonna be uh, the tactical approach for this trade first contracts coming off at one point second contract is gonna come off at four points down here at 62 or we'll see if um, depending on the speed with which we drop I may move it down even farther to make sure that I take it off right before we hit the lower end of this trend channel line but we'll just play it and see how uh, see how it goes but yep okay so after about 40 minutes of uncertainty we are finally out of that trade and let me tell you that was not fun to say the least so I came one tick away from getting stopped out literally one tick away from getting stopped out I entered at 66 flat and I actually had to bump up my stop to more than two points because my stop I don't know if you noticed but it was right at the end of these bars so technically you needed one tick above your signal bar and because I bumped it up, I survived that trade. But if I had left it where it was at two points, I would have unfortunately had a loss. But yeah, 40 minutes later, this trade finally worked out. I'm thinking that this is the sweet spot, and we should see like a bit of a plummet. And uh, hopefully we'll see another plummet when we get through here. But yeah, so I took this trade as a failed second entry long. I don't know if uh, why it took so long. Maybe we needed to get closer to the trend line. But initially, I thought it was a perfect setup. Turns out it wasn't. But I guess we need to be a bit closer to this trend line because when we finally got over there and tested it a few times, that's when we really got some gas. So I'd suggest using this as your signal bar. That's uh, probably the best entry. This is okay, but if, it, if you like an emotional roller coaster of not knowing whether or not you're going to get stopped out, then this is your place to enter. You may have even considered adding on here, but I definitely wasn't going to do that because I wasn't sure whether or not it was going to work we could have ticked a few ticks lower and then turned up and then at that point I would have closed it for sure but I decided to hold on to it throughout all of this because I figured if we when I got this bar and it went all the way up there and then turned back down I said okay there's still hope and maybe this isn't a legitimate first entry maybe this is the first entry and then this is the second entry so this bar came and then this bar came and then yeah we finally got to move on down but that's my last trade for the day after that when I I had enough um, profitable for the day so that's three winners first trade I took was right here got stopped out for a seven tick loss on that one then I got long right here for the uh, second entry long that worked out then I shorted this right here for the uh, continuous lower highs and basically a failed second entry long if you notice you get your new high right here first entry second entry goes out the top and the bottom closes relatively bearish and underneath the EMA so I like that for a short that was a good one so those two and then this is my third winning trade so four trades today and I'm calling it quits hopefully we can get this runner I don't know if we're gonna get this runner if this closes bullish then we probably won't but I'm just gonna go back to pause and we'll see what happens alright so we're working our way down to that runner it's at four points so that's gonna be 200 if we get that runner um, I'm probably going to start trailing this stop in a little bit. Actually, let me draw a short term trend line working down. And then if we get a break of that, I'll start to trail the stop. Might be a tad bit steeper than that. It's kind of it right there. We might even be able to take this all the way to the other end of the trend channel line, but. I don't want to overstay the welcome so I'm just gonna go for four points and see if we can get that and this is looking pretty gnarly this is what I was expecting to happen initially but I guess we had to kinda of hang tight and ride that bit of correction and chop out and this is a that's a nice trade man it's a really nice trade 
There we go. All right, cool. So we're done for the day. That was a pretty, pretty nice trade. Um, that's my trading day. Uh, one loser, three winners. I would have been, probably wouldn't have had any losers because I usually would have taken this, it's, except for I think I was looking at my laptop or something when this one set up. We went out the top and came out of the bottom and I dropped a lemon order in there but didn't come back to get me. But regardless, still positive on the day. So let's check and see how much we made today. All right, so that's 312.50 trading doubles. Um, it counts each one of these trades as two. So 75% accuracy, four and one. Not bad at all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me briefly go over these trades and then we'll call this video. That'll be the end of that and hopefully you guys have a good weekend. But so first trade I see is this failed second entry long. You get your first attempt to go higher right there. Second attempt to go higher right here. You break out the top, you come out of the bottom. So just go ahead and have a stop waiting right there and that would have been a nice trade. Uh, one thing that probably would have stopped you from taking this long is you can draw your short term downtrend and um, this is your first break so I don't think you want to take that and you're probably better off to wait on a higher low before taking that to the upside so you could have avoided that like that and then this kind of pulls back and retests the EMA goes out the top comes out the bottom as well so that's another good opportunity to go short you just kind of move down you trade back up so you probably want to draw your trend line off these first two swings uh, this failed second entry short right here this is the one that I took and uh, it lost my gut was telling me that this most likely wasn't going to work. I don't really know how to explain how I know that, but when you look at these for long enough, you'll kind of get a feel of what an ideal reversal pattern is, what it should look like, and what's most likely going to work and what's not going to work. This looks a little bit suspect to me, so I think you're better off waiting on the uh, second entry, which comes down here, and you should probably draw that trend line off those first two swings just in case, but at that point in time, I think I have my line coming off of these two swings as well just as the possibility since the bias was up I wasn't really thinking short at that time but when we continued kind of tapping and going lower and lower and each attempt to go higher was failing I like this short to the downside so uh, second entry long right here that was good for a scalp then you kind of tick up do a little double test with a slightly lower high nice bearish bar beneath the EMA I liked shorting that and that was a pretty nice move also uh, if you had that trend line that's another reason why you would want to take that and basically this third touch right here confirms your trend line so that would have been another test and just go ahead and take that you probably would have wanted to short this one right here too and you might have you may have added on right there so that would be a good one then you get a second entry short right here uh, I didn't take that because we were going a bit sideways I should have taken it because we weren't down to the other end of the trend channel line so most likely we're gonna continue a bit lower and make it down there but I think another reason I didn't like it is because we had already had a perfect measured move so you get your first leg right there and then second leg right there and as you can see that's to the tick so yeah that may keep you out but turned out to be a nice trade then you get a bit of a correction I was looking for a failed second entry short to occur in this region so I could ride it back up to the upper end of the trend channel line but that didn't happen then we just kind of chop around you get your first attempt to go higher right there second attempt to go higher right there really thought this thing would take off a bit faster so I entered right there got hung up got came one tick away from getting stopped out but fortunately I survived that had to take a slightly bigger stop of two and a quarter points but worked out well in the end this probably would be your better entry when you see those two failures you may not have had a, a first entry right here so that may have saved you when you got this you're probably ready to go short right there and then this bar happens and then when you get this bearish bar just go ahead and go short right there and then you avoid all the stress so that's it. Um, good trading day. Really good trading day overall. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll probably definitely do one of these again, but this is pretty much how I trade. Uh, in the beginning, I was being a tad bit more aggressive than usual because usually I wouldn't trade in one direction and then instantly hop in another trade in the opposite direction. But I'm still kind of experimenting and figuring out what's the best way for me to trade specifically, whether it be whether it's ultra conservative or a bit more aggressive because I see a lot of these setups and I have a pretty good feeling that they're gonna work it's just that sometimes I don't take them and then I end up regretting taking them so I think I'm just gonna start taking everything that I think will work and just kinda of see how that averages out in the wash but that's pretty much it this is JR and another thing um, this is a rededication to Max since I got a much better trading day today good trading day good trades good results 
This is a, another dedication to Mac. Thanks for everything. Um, I wouldn't know any of this if it wasn't for you. So hopefully you guys had a good trading day as well. This is JR. I'll probably see you guys again sometime next week. And take care.